During this shutdown period, we were thinking about what could we do to help theaters uh, recover when we get around to uh, next year, we can get back to work again. So using the lessons that we learned in developing the remote control for QPlayer Premium, uh, we thought it might be kind of handy if we could uh, come up with a Q-Lite uh, similar system. Q-Lite system, as you know, where someone in the booth can flip a switch and a light backstage or whatever will go from green to red, uh, indicating that uh, something should happen. So this is uh, Baxel Data's take on what we could do um, over, the, uh, over the network uh, from the booth. We can uh, send messages, and we can send those messages now to uh, any device with a browser. Uh, that can be uh, a phone, either iPhone or Android, uh, iPad, tablet, any, uh, anything you, uh, you've got on your local network that can bring up a browser. The, uh, the program uh, looks like you see it here, um, fairly, uh, fairly simple. One thing to point out, this is the address, the network address that you would use to communicate with uh, the, what we're calling WebQ. We'll start the server and you'll see that it, um, it you, well, you can't see actually, uh, they developed a, they put down a small icon in the lower right hand corner uh, of the server. And so now we'll bring up, we'll open up our, our browser. Now here I've done it locally um, because uh, in trying to do this uh, screen capture uh, to demonstrate uh, for you. Um, so here we have a, a Google Chrome and as advertised we can put in the address 192, uh, where are we, 168.1.25. Now the um, the port the the port can be changed. Uh, 80 is the default that comes uh, when you download the, the the zip file. But there is a any file that you can go and you can change that port should there be a conflict. If you already have a general purpose uh, web browser uh, running. And okay, so now we, we're we're connected. Uh, what what can the user can happen next is um, we can double click. Uh, up here and um, identify ourselves back to the to the host supposing we're we're backstage and we're uh, Dave uh, okay now so here we have Dave is connected and this is this is our line the original design here has uh, space for two uh, remote users if uh, you feel that you need more or you find this tool handy and you and you really want to go up to three or four uh, send a message to uh, Baxell data saying hey this is a great tool uh, but I need more um, more things more people so what would normal usage would be is um, you're connected I see I'm in the booth I, I see that uh, you're connected and now I'm going to tell you to uh, I'm going to tell you to get ready to slide uh, slide the uh, stage left door, and I'll send you that message. I can pick a color um, in anywhere down here to uh, to do that. So we'll send that message, and we can normally one would spell door differently, but uh, there we go. We can send that. And you'll see the, uh, at least locally here, of course, the latency is very small. Uh, testing that we've done here uh, in-house at Blackfriars Theater uh, shows that it's not a lot, a lot, uh, a lot longer. Uh, there will be some, but it's uh, certainly uh, uh, tolerable. So any, as you can see, you can put any message you want to here uh, and send it. I did add uh, another button just uh, for ease of, of use to uh, for the for the go command uh, and it was as, as a single single click the uh, down at the bottom the other parts of this this uh, the host program the server program you can see there's a small window here for for scrolling uh, the messages as uh, as they go just you know for reference purposes. Uh, next time I'm here, I can say, I can say that you're going to, uh, I don't know, what, what do you want to do? You want to open the window? 
we're going to open the window and we really want you to open the window so we'll say that we're going to do that so that's pretty much uh all that it is all it does like i say you can have up to two people if you need more uh send us a, shoot us a note let us know but as i say now you can send uh any message that you want to um over the uh, over the internal network and anything with a browser um can can pick it up so this could prove handy for some of those backstage things uh where you don't have uh an intercom if your uh, your theater d does, can't afford to you know wireless or wired intercom here you have uh, wireless connectivity so um enjoy <laughs> 